and welcome to RC Cincy. Today, I got a video for you guys showing you guys um, some of the stuff I got for the excavator. So really quickly, um, let's open this up. Uh, I ordered these parts from this company right here. This is the name of it, and I'll have the website right below right here. I cannot pronounce this. I'm not even going to try. Pause it right there. That is all the information you need. Pause it right there. Uh, I ordered from them. It's a Swedish company. Uh, it did take a little bit of time because it's through the post or whatever. This is the full parts list. I'll tell you the prices I'm going through each thing. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I ordered is this right here. Um, and it is literally McDonald's fries, a Big Mac, and a little Coke bottle for the 116 sale construction guys. So it's for the Brewer little Bruner little guys. Uh, this is their lunch. I'm going to set up like on a table or on a machine or whatever. Like when I set up different construction sites, I think that is really scaled, really neat. Uh, that really quickly costed uh, food, uh, fast food decoration costed $5.43. So that's the fast food we got. Then we also ordered this. This is uh, the fire extinguisher in bracket um, for, uh, you got it, the Bruder, Bruder guys, the 116 scale. Uh, my fiance put this sticker on because she does such a good job with it. So she put the sticker on for me. Uh, it did come with the sticker. It also comes with the bracket and the little screws so you can bracket attach it to here, to a truck, uh, to a job site box, wherever you want to mount it or just literally stand it up on its own. Uh, this is really, really nice, very scaled. This pops out, nice little rubber hose so you can pose it in their hand like they're putting a fire out. It's very good quality stuff. I'm, I'm truly impressed with it. Uh, so there's that. The bracket is, um, really quickly, the bracket is all metal with metal bolts and screws to put it, to mount it. It is all metal. That is very, very nice. Uh, the fire extinguisher costed, uh, $8.23. There we go, let's get that annoying uh, in, uh, thing out of here. Uh, the next thing I bought is this. This is the complete uh, seal kit for the Rams or the hydraulic pistons. Uh, this is the complete seal. Uh, there's three seals in each Ram, I do believe, and this will do five Rams rebuild. This will rebuild a total of five Rams. Um, this is the uh, hydraulic cylinder seal kit. Five piece, so it'll do five rams, uh, $21.89. I think this is very, very important. Uh, with time, I don't know if I could replace this whole entire thing. You can rebuild and repack this with brand new O-rings, which will cause them to stop leaking if they start leaking. So that's really nice. Uh, I figured I would need those. And then, of course, I bought the uh, these right here. Now, honestly, I thought this was like a hose with like a fitting and it was braided, but it's not. All it is is... It's hose spring kink protection. So this would go over your three millimeter hose and it makes it look braided. It flexes, it'll keep it from kinking and it looks a lot better. It's nice and long. One run should do the whole thing. You could cut it technically in half. Of course I bought two because I wasn't sure about that. So I bought two of those. Uh, those were $5.43 each. Uh, so not very expensive. Get these out of the way. And then last but not least, this very detailed sticker sheet. This is the best one I've seen so far. So I ordered one off of eBay. It was nice, but it missed uh, some of the stickers I needed. So these ones um, covered it all. Um, so the, D the decal uh, set for the 336 premium quality was $21.89. The whole thing shipped to me was $25. The total was $96.72. Uh, I bought this a while ago. It just takes a while in the post. Um, that's why I mentioned uh, I bought this like probably in end of December, beginning of January. It's been a while. Uh, it's been a long while. So what's so nice about this sticker sheet is exactly the sticker sheet for the cat. This was a new generation cat that came out back in 2020 and uh, they knocked it out of the park. I could tell you that right now. They knocked it out of the park. Uh the sticker sheet is spot on. The, the vehicle itself, number one, is spot on. The, the size, the way it's shaped, everything is exactly like the cat. One of the best uh, smaller miniatures I've ever seen. And then the only thing that was different was the Cobalite stickers. And this will remedy that. Um, honestly, you only need to remove two. Now, 
What's so nice about the Copalite is, to me, they seem like these are spray painted stickers. These are not just stickers they stuck on a factory that you can easily peel. These are painted on the metal components, meaning they're harder to clean. I still have a little bit to clean there and a little bit right here to clean. Uh, everything underneath was perfectly clean. So, um, uh, I have just a little touch up there. I didn't see those. The bright light kind of showed it. You can see where I rubbed it and it kind of took some of the shine away. Uh, I may apply a clear coat to it to protect it and bring that shine back to make it look a lot nicer. I may have to do that. I may tape it at this joint and then tape it at this joint and then just go ahead after I get done cleaning it and shine it. So the rest of this will have the same shine here. You can see how it dulled it a little bit. Uh, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's a piece of equipment that's going to get dirty and stuff. Uh, the cobalt light is larger than the sticker, or I would have just placed it right over it. You can see that it's longer than the sticker, so that wouldn't have technically worked. So, unfortunately, that's what it is, what it is. Uh, I used one, two, three, four, five stickers. These right here, they actually have the ones that go inside the cab. See how it says cobalt light right there? I have to remove this lid anyways because I plan on working on the kink fitting right here. So, I plan on removing this. That's when I'm going to do this sticker. I didn't feel like taking the cab off just for that. I will replace the sticker. It also gives you instrument stickers. It also gives you the person warning stickers, these stickers, uh, the smash pinch stickers, all the chemical, the fueling stickers, everything exactly to scale. You got it. And it gives you other models. It gives you up here is the fuel stickers. These are the different screens it could be on. So if you have like I don't know, one, two, three, four screens or three screens. Guess what? You're going to cover all of them. They only gave you one from Cobalite, which was nice of them. But this one will cover all those. It'll cover the sticker right there. It'll also cover a sticker, I forget, on the other side of the seat. That's just like this. See, there's one, two. It, it is crazy, the detail here. Uh, actually, one goes on this side. And I think one goes up here. I will be removing this sticker as well because there's a little K right there. It's kind of hard to tell, but I still notice it. But I'm impressed with this sticker sheet. It looks incredible. So really quickly, I'll spin around and show you the stickers. That looks incredible. Like I said, I'm going to remove a little bit right here, a little bit right here. And I'm going to tape it off and then do a clear on it, which is going to protect the sticker. And it's going to bring that shine back there. Then we'll go ahead and turn. Gave you the sticker. You can see right here that goes on this one. Uh, that's nicely painted on there. So what I did is I stuck the sticker on. The good part is I could literally remove the sticker and it says Cobalite right under it. That's the good part about it. I think it looks good. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do clear on all of them. We'll see. And then let's spin around. The back True Cat sticker fits beautifully in there, as you can see. Looks really, really good. Uh, covers up the Cobalt Light sticker. Once again, if I peel this with just regular adhesive remover, the Cobalt Light painted on sticker will still be there. And then last but not least, I also she also put one here, which covered this one, 336, just like it says on the cat. And that's it. Now this light is gonna be fixed. You can see how, see how it's flickering? Well, actually I gotta push the cat forward. That's all it is. So what happened is the board got bent a little bit. There has a little crease causing that light to flicker off and on. Obviously I'm gonna put a little hot piece. I did a piece of tape, I guess it came loose. I'm just gonna do a dab of hot glue, which will fix it. As you can see, so it's easily fixed, completely unplug it. I try to stretch it and put it on without unplugging it. Unplug it every time. You're gonna save yourself a headache. Uh, that's just living you learn. But look at this side of the boom. I think this side looks even better. Look at that, a little bit of paint right here, just a little bit right there and a little bit right there. And then of course, I'm gonna tape it off and then do the clear, which will bring that shine back. And uh, there you have it. And look how good that looks. That is exactly how the cat stickers look on the real cat. There's a little bit of dirt and stuff here. A little bit of paint too. So there you have it. Um, I turned on my computer. I probably shouldn't run this too much because I did pull the sleeve off right here. So what I was doing is I was investigating really quickly. Stop doing this video on the stickers and all this. Uh, these are sleeves that pop off right here. There's a fitting and then there's a sleeve, you pop the sleeve off very carefully. Don't crimp or smash this sleeve at all because I don't know where to get them. Um, so keep that in mind, you don't want to lose those. Uh, and then once you pop these sleeves off, 
you have to remove the hose. You can heat it up a little bit and remove it. Pull it with a pair of pliers, grab onto the hose. Don't smash the barb fitting underneath. And that's how you detach it. I'm gonna replace these runs obviously because right where the sleeve is right now, let me move it down a little bit. There's a kink there and a kink here. I've mentioned it in other videos. I'm gonna finally uh, redo the line because I did get these right here. So I'm obviously gonna redo the line with the kink guard with a nice little bend in it and redo the line. Uh, three mil, of course, from AliExpress. Uh, this stuff I've noticed has more flex. Look how stiff this stuff is. Now look at this one. So same position, watch how, see how easily I kinked down, watch this. So this stuff, I feel like this has more flex in it. Maybe it's fresher, maybe it's a different batch, maybe it's a different material, I don't know. But I could tell you what, uh, this stuff is probably gonna be less likely to kink. And especially, now look, look at that, look at that bend right there. So my bend is gonna be with the flex kink, I'm thinking it's gonna be like this. Or something like, I don't know, it's like a beautiful S and then it comes back down like that. So it's kind of like this. Do you get what I'm saying? Instead of it being like that. So it's going to have the kink stuff on here, obviously. To put this back on, you're going to have to slide this part onto here. And you're going to need to heat it up with the lighter just a little bit, not melt it. And then you're going to press it on to the barb. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to put it through these all these loops first. All these loops through here. Get it all ran get the right length. I'm thinking this length is a little short. I don't know if it's long or short. I'm just gonna watch some videos, do some research, uh, and I'm gonna let you guys know the length I went with. But I'm gonna have to figure something out. So something like this maybe. I feel like everyone does something like that maybe with like the kink protection of this stuff on both sides, obviously. I'm gonna probably go from this fitting right here with the kink all the way up. I'm gonna screw it in here or put something to hold it all the way to here. I'm just gonna do cover this whole piece. Keep it from kinking. Um, this should be enough for at least two runs, maybe three. So I have to be accurate with the cutting. I can't be wasting this tube. If you kink it or damage it anywhere, you're gonna need to replace the whole run. So keep that in mind. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share all the parts I got for it. Obviously, there's gonna be other videos on this. Uh, I'm really happy with the stickers. It needs a little touch up here and here, which is no big deal. I'll just take the magic eraser. That's what I did use to remove it. If you have ex a, a, a proper adhesive removers, I tried alcohol and a couple other ones and it was barely taking any of the uh, cobalite off. It was like barely making it dull. So it didn't remove anything. The magic eraser removed it. Be careful not to do it too much because you can actually remove the paint to the bare metal, which if you're doing it right here, right where the sticker is, you're okay. Uh, but if you get it here, here, or here damaged, you got to watch it. So I'm going to very carefully just wipe this little bit of pink off right here and this little bit of paint off right here. And then we're going to clear it for protective purposes. I don't know. I may clear these back pieces. We'll see. Uh, just something to keep it uh, from tearing up the sticker. These are high quality stickers. They stick really well. They're not going to go anywhere. Obviously, if you scrape them with something or something like that, they're going to be damaged. Otherwise, they should be perfectly fine. But the thing is, is it looks exactly, it looks exactly like the cat does to the T. These are exactly the cat stickers, the 336 right here. This is spot on now. So I always wanted that. Um, so I always wanted that. So I finally got it done. Um, like I said, it still needs a little work here and there, a little touch up stuff, nothing too major. Uh, and then I honestly let you guys know when I replace this line, by the way, that's gonna be a whole video. <laughs> When I replace this line, by the way, I am going to show you the condition of the fluid. I would have liked to run it more before I flush it again, but I am going to flush it because it's going to need to be bled anyway. So might as well at that point flush it. See if there is any more debris in there. I expect a little bit in there, but after this one, I expect it to be clear. Hopefully, that's my goal. So I'm just going to be 100% honest with that. I am going to paint this as well and put my uh, washers right there. Uh, I feel like it needs the washers and then this painted and then I'm ready to rock. Uh, it does take a little bit from the scale detail of it with having this quick disconnect, but it makes my life easier if I want to use different buckets. You know what I mean? It just makes my life a lot easier. Like completely undoing um, all those screws. Make sure I got this lined up. There we go. Like completely redoing, undoing all those screws just to change a bucket. Like it's nuts. The only play, like I said, is right here. We're just going to put a couple washers and that's it. I am gonna paint this black because it'll look more scaled that way. It won't be so noticeable that you have a big disconnect on here, uh, but it works great. 
You know what I mean? It works as it should. So that's the cool part about it. If you actually use a pin that's not threaded like this, it'll actually click on with its force. So what will happen is you can actually like tap it against the ground as you're putting it on and then push down with the boom. It'll lock on. And then obviously it'll be spacers. It'll be a much tighter fit like this one. Or if you put spacers on this one, this one obviously needs spacers and adjustments for it to work, but it can be used. But what I like is these pins are rounded. I'm just probably gonna get some rounded pins. The factory ones are too fat, by the way, but yeah. So there you have it, guys. Um, that's everything that I'm gonna be doing to it. Uh, I'm gonna be addressing this light so it doesn't go out. Let's see. Look at that. It's on right now. So like I said, it's just this board right here. No big deal. We can address that. But I'm happy with the way she did the stickers. I think it looks great. I think it looks like a legitimate cat vehicle. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. I like it. So great job on her. Thank you, uh, Candace, my wife, for doing this for me. Uh, I was going on my honeymoon. We came back. That's why I haven't seen a video in a little while. Uh, I am going to be jumping back on the horse and getting things done. I'm also going to figure out if I need any of these other ones, like uh, reading the manual, magnets, steps. Like These are legitimate stickers that should be going places. I'll see like, on the real cat where they're at and address that. Uh, we already have a fuel one up here by this cat, so that looks very realistic. Uh, I'm not sure which other ones I need. I know I'm going to be using all these instrument ones. Looks like there are spaces for instruments one on this side, and they only did the top one. So we're going to be using all these instrument panels. That's going to look good. I cannot wait to show you guys that. And um, that's going to do it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll also be showing you guys what it looks like. Obviously uh, cleaned right here and then clear coated so it's shiny again like this. That's what the clicker is going to make it look like. That's what we want, and it's going to protect the sticker. So it's not a bad thing, really. Uh, you can do a much neater job of cleaning it up, putting the stickers on. Please do share with us. That would be awesome. Um, I think I, I think she did a great job in putting on the stickers. The cleaning part was the hardest part. But keep in mind that the rest of them you can just stick on as long as you center them correctly. Stick them on, and then in the future, uh, all you need is two Cobalite stickers here. Or you may not even do a sticker there, but you'll still have the other Cobalite stickers if you peel these off. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it does give you these other models, so that's kind of cool. Different numbers and models and stuff. I, I, I like that. Maybe you can use these for like a, a company number or something like that, serial number, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, very, very high qual high quality stickers. Um, yeah, I like it. So you can even see it says Cobalt Light 336 right there in that corner. So there you have it, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to quickly share that with you guys. I just got back my I did just pop this off just to investigate this fitting and everything. Uh, there will be a complete video on doing this whole run again and with the braided line. Uh, this stuff is kind of crazy. Like, if you put it apart, it's just a spring really, really tight. Very long, very flexible, and it should hopefully keep it from kinking. So we'll see how that works, and I'll give you guys an honest opinion on that. So thanks for watching. Um, that's going to do it for this one, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.